a word for the so-called Mujahideen who waged the struggle against Gaddafi. I hope you're listening to me. And I hope all the other allies of NATO, including the Turkish Prime Minister, are listening to me. Here is a verse of the Quran. And you do well to study the Quran. In Surah Al Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a statement of profound importance. And in this verse, he explains to us the world today. Listen one more time. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu, O you who have faith in Allah. La tattakhidhu al-yahuda wa nasara awliya. Do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies. If we use the lazy man's methodology, the defective methodology, we will come to the conclusion that Allah is speaking about all Christians and He's speaking about all Jews. This is a lazy man's methodology. But when you use the proper methodology, you see something else. Or look at that other verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. وَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ الْيَهُودِ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ And the Jews and the Christians will never rest contented until they get you to follow them in their way of life, their religion. Is Allah speaking about all Jews? And is He speaking about all Christians? Even an elementary study of the Quran, not a sophisticated study, would yield immediately so many different verses of the Quran, which makes it clear that Allah is not speaking of all Jews and He is not speaking of all Christians. For example, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, وَلَتَجِدَنَّ أَقْرَبَهُمْ مَوَدَّةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارَ And you will most certainly find in time to come that those who will be closest to you in love and affection will be those who say we are Christians. The people who are closest in love and affection for you and you cannot be friends with them? Where has reason gone? <laughs> and there are several other verses of the Quran. And so now, we dismiss that nonsense. That when Allah says, do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies, we dismiss the nonsense that he's speaking about all Jews and he's speaking about all Christians. No. Well then, if he's not speaking about all Jews and all Christians, which Jews and which Christians is he speaking about? The Turkish Prime Minister better listen because he doesn't know the subject. He doesn't know the subject. The answer is in the words which follow. Do not take such Jews and do not take such Christians as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other. The Quran is anticipating a time to come when part of the Christian world and part of the Jewish world are going to effect a mysterious reconciliation. I wish I could give this lecture in Bahasa, you know. <laughs> I have to use the English language that part of the Christian world and part of the Jewish world 
are going to effect a mysterious reconciliation. You have to take this lecture and give it in Bahasa so the people will understand it. And when they effect this mysterious reconciliation, in which the Vatican will play a critical role, exonerating the Jews from responsibility for the crucifixion. Oh, come on, Mr. Pope. Nobody ever said that all the Jews were responsible. Come on, Mr. Pope. The Quran says, فَأَمَنَ الطَّائِفَةُ مِنْ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلُ وَكَفَرَ الطَّائِفَةُ some of the Jews believed in Jesus and others rejected him. So when a Jew believed in Jesus as the Messiah, does it mean he's no longer a Jew? Come on, Pope, I want an answer. Just because I accept Jesus as the Messiah, I'm no longer a Jew? What nonsense is this? Nobody ever said that all the Jews were responsible. But we do say, that the establishment, the rabbis, they are the ones. And they did it in the name of Judaism. Not in their own name. And so every Jew has to part company from what they did. Otherwise you're part of the responsibility for it. Hmm? And so when you see that mysterious reconciliation taking place, which happened in Europe, and then you see a Jewish-Christian alliance emerging, as has happened in Europe. Allah is saying, these are the Jews, and these are the Christians, with whom I am prohibiting you from maintaining friendly ties and becoming their allies. You may say today, we are friends of America. I'd love to see you when you're in the grave. Oh yes, Excellency, I'd love to see you when you agree, when you have to defend that statement. When that Jewish-Christian alliance emerges, Allah says, لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى أولياء Do not be friends and allies of these people. Allah is not speaking about an individual Jew who has a Christian as his neighbor, and the two are friends of each other, not at all. He's talking about an, an alliance between two people. That alliance has come into being today. It is the Zionist Jews and Zionist Christians who have forged that alliance. They're the ones who gave us the International Monetary Fund. They are the ones who gave us this bogus and fraudulent and utterly haram paper money. And please read this book, The Gold Dinar and Silver Dirham Islam and the Future of Money. They are the ones who gave us the United Nations organization, controlled by the Security Council. And in the Security Council, the Zionists are in control. So Palestine wants to become a member of the UN. And when Palestine becomes a member of the UN, you are now ob obliged to obey the Charter. And the Charter says, Allah is not a Lakbar. The Charter says the supreme authority in the world, in all matters pertaining to international peace and security, resides with the Security Council. When the Security Council says, stand up, you're going to stand up. When it says, sit down, you're going to sit down. How are you going to answer to Allah for that massive betrayal of Allah and His message? But Palestine wants to become a member of the Security Council. I mean the United Nations. وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ مِنْهُمْ says Allah. Whoever turns to them for friendship and alliance, as Saudi Arabia has done, as Turkey has done, a member of NATO, as the elite in Pakistan have done, as the elite in Egypt has done, as Jordan have done, huh? whosoever turns to them for friendship and alliance, for innahu minhum, Allah says in the Quran, you've lost your Islam. You've lost your Islam. You now belong to them. Inna Allah la yahdil qawma zalimin. Surely Allah provides no guidance for wicked people. 
And so the trademark of that alliance is going to be wickedness. And what did they do in Libya? These brothers of ours who were taken for a ride, who had eyes and yet could not see, they joined the alliance with NATO. They called for NATO to come and bomb. And now they are riding triumphantly that we have liberated Libya. No, you have not. NATO is in control. And you'll have to answer to Allah on, last, on the last day because you lost your Islam.